Good evening. It is April 28th, 2023. It's a nice Friday evening. Uh, and I'm just sitting down to watch the new Peter Pan and Wendy movie on Disney+. Plus. So unfortunately, my phone screen is not giving me a good image. Now, I am a big fan of the Peter Pan story. In fact, I don't mind admitting it. At one point in my life, I wanted to play in a theatrical adaptation of J.M. Barry's story. While the Disney movie may not have always been one of my favorites, I feel, I mean, it, it's a classic, no doubt about that. Uh, Jude Law plays Captain Hook, and he's always awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm willing to see what they do with this particular one. Uh, there's nothing. Well, I just finished watching Peter Pan and Wendy on Disney Plus, and quite honestly, I was disappointed. Yeah, it, I found this story with too many pacing problems. At one moment, it was too slow. One moment, it was too quick. It looked like they were going to go into the history between Captain Hook and Peter Pan. Didn't do it, and it just didn't. I don't think of it as a remake of the 1950s animated film film done by Disney as well even though they claim it to be I just see it as a different adaptation of the Peter Pan story but regardless I'm afraid it just didn't hold up now beforehand when I said that it was n the Disney animated film was not always my favorite what I was saying is that it wasn't always one of my favorite Disney movies I mean, granted, I saw it a few times when I was a kid, but I think that was mostly at another kid's house. I mean, my parents had the Mary Martin television musical on VHS. Now, let's give credit where credit is due. They treated the Native American characters with the respect they deserved, but they were hardly even in the film, with the exception of Tiger Lily, who often ends up cleaning, it suggested cleans up Peter Pan's mess. I like the fact that not all the Lost Boys were actual boys and sometimes girls, and I think one or two of the pirates on Captain Hook's crew may have actually been female. I avast me, hearty! He, don't be setting me up for this crew. They were boring and dull. They only had one song, and frankly, I didn't understand the lyrics. Unless Cole McGinnis and, or, better, yet Peter Hollins makes a cover, then do it better. I have no interest in hearing it again. Mm -hmm. One of them got that hound by a simple pebble. A pebble! And Jude Law is no pirate captain. He's only pretended. And Dead Eye Joe, who'd rather be serving along Captain Jack Sparrow. Hmm? What on earth was that? Uh, well, regardless. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm afraid the film was just really slow and it just, uh, had a lot of trouble with pacing. Uh, one thing that often... I don't know why this, uh, troubled me, but in the original Disney animated film, at the end, the Lost Boys, it suggested they decided to return to Neverland with Peter, and I don't know why that always bothered me, other than the fact that in every other adaptation, they decide to go back to London and grow up, which is what they do in this film. I'm sorry if I spoiled it, but frankly, I don't know if many people are going to even bother watching this film, and anybody who's familiar with the story anyway is uh, already aware of that. And they didn't really in take enough time to really introduce the characters, probably because they just felt that everybody already knows them, but that, regardless, even the 2003 film, which featured Jason Isaacs as Captain Hook, took time to introduce us to these characters, so we felt connected to them. We got to know them. In this film, it was just too rust, and we didn't spend the time necessary to really get to know these characters. Uh, I'm really 
sorry, and I'm don't really know who a lot of the uh, other actors are, because, you know, most of them were just kids. The actor who plays John Michael in this version is supposed to be playing in the upcoming Harry Potter reboot. That is the second time that has happened. Okay, no more interruptions, I hope. But, no, I'm giving this film a 2 out of 5. Heck, I'm probably even going to give it 1 out of 5 because I just did not enjoy this film. I know this is not a true adaptation of the Peter Pan story, but Dustin Hoffman is still my favorite Captain Hook. I still love that movie. Uh, the Disney film is... The original animated Disney film is still great. And if I ever do get a chance to start a theatrical adaptation, you know, community play, I'll be happy to look into it. But I'm afraid this film is just going to be swept under the rug and forgotten. This is Ranger Fanboy. Never smile at a crocodile.